a big charge. Yuka Sasso, the U.S. Women's Open champion, just 20 years old at the ninth. Does have a really high ball flight. Maybe a bit of a longer birdie putt than Yuka Sasso had hoped for. That is for sure. You love that stroke, though, don't you? I, I just love her putting stroke. I love the way she accelerates through the ball. 11. Yeah, off hand on the left side. Sasso, second shot, Karen. Yeah, she got away with it a little bit. Has an opening. That was from 162. Good clean strike. Should get to the front of the green. Okay, really good from there. Yeah. Playing a little bit easier than it did the first uh, three days. Sasso, two back now at 12. Yeah, obviously taking a little shorter line here down the left side in between these two bunkers. Good lie from 123. Oh, mm -mm. just an awkward angle from the left side of that fairway. And as bunker shots go, there isn't an easier one than this. She did chuckle in her press conference the other day about how many bunkers there are around this golf course. Some of the members call it Bunker Rio. Yeah, Sasso's tee shot here at the par three. Playing with 75. Five today, and the wind is anywhere between five and ten miles per hour, depending on the gust. And it's going up just to the right. She's played this whole three pars, so solid iron shot. Very popular spot right there. Thirteen. This is also for birdie now. This one's pretty straight, Jim. Uh, yep. Down the hill, though. Let's see if she's got the speed after watching Charlie's putt here. The putt coming from Charlie was a lot slower earlier in the week. She might have been a victim of that. This whole place downwind. No need for a driver here for Yuka. That's right over my head, over those pine tree, palm trees. Gosh, she can loft it up, can't she? Careful. Well, it looks like that's going to be potentially a pitch out, though, Karen. Right, just a moment ago, this was Sasso after finding her tee shot. She has a clearing, but contact was difficult because of all the debris around the ball. Didn't seem to be too flustered. Obviously, a little frustrated at having to pitch out. This looks lovely. I mean, that action, Karen, is just <laughs> textbook. Just Thing perfect tempo, perfect release. Pretty straightforward here, Morgan. All right, a great view from behind, Karen, of just how she accelerates through on those short putts. There's on every putt. Remember, we were talking about second gear. I think she found it on that tee shot. Mm -hmm. I play that hole a lot, Karen. 109. That's, I know. That's a big tee ball. Well, it's coming back a little bit. So three players, all three players have a decent chance for Verdi. I think that surprised her a little bit. Got to move. <sighs> wow. Well, this could end up being one of those pivotal holes, only playing 140, uh, 444 today. Taking a very aggressive line, Karen. This should be perfect. 60 yards. Some really thick Bermuda grass on that tiny little island in the middle of the bunker. And wise to err on the side of making sure she was past the hole and not leaving it in the bunker. You've been there before, your honorary member here? I have not been over there. Chance to redeem herself with a nice putt here. Yeah, you figure that's a must make to have a chance to win, wouldn't you say? Turn 20 right after winning the U.S. Women's Open last June. Tap in par for her. Opportunity missed. Yeah, that's got to hurt with only 170 yards in on the par five. Little down breeze here for Yuka. Another good looking very shot good. here. Yeah, it's a, it's a very aggressive line. Beautiful shot, too. Great shot. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. This one should move a little bit to the right. There you go. Good read. Good, solid, solid confidence stroke. Great iron shot, too. This from 137 off of an upslope. 137. There's a little nine iron.
Another flowing stroke. Oh. Yes. Yuka, 30-30 finish. She posts 12 under.